All right. Oh jeez, I really opened that way too loudly. Um, here we are with more Mega Man Maker playing a stage from Sir Arthur here. Um, but yeah, I start this video at a weird place here because um, I got a video. I got a video. I got the stage from you here, Sir Arthur, and yeah, I played through this. You got. Uh, you sent me the ID for the short version of Rebel Gang, and yeah, I just happened to notice that by by chance. So yeah, um. Guessing you wanted me to play this stage instead uh, and not the short version. So yeah, um, I'm just having this little weird intro here so that you can see that uh, Well, yeah um, Yeah, I, I assume this is the one you wanted me to play anyway <laughs> So yeah, I I'm going to jump into this one instead. So yeah, we're going to start the video from there and yeah, I, I only saw the very first screen in here and I noticed that the music has been changed up from the you know, short version of the stage there. And yeah, we did not have the saw blade in that one either, or you know, the wheel blade or whatever, wheel cutter. Ah! Hey, I just woke up, so I'm having some... <laughs> I'm having I'm having some Red Bull. Very nice in the morning, I know. And yeah, so far this looks very much like the, you know, short version stage. It is pretty much the same. Yeah, well, actually, well, yeah, it's hard to remember. <laughs> I just played it, but I still can't recall. Yeah, actually, this this is the same. Yeah, the first uh, segment, or the first segment, the first version there was very short. It took me like four minutes to play through the whole stage. I just breezed through it, you know. And, you know, I noticed that it said short version in the title there, so... <laughs> Oh, well. here we are with the final version, I assume. But yeah, Road to the Rebel Gang. Um, it's a stage basically where you go through this city here, and yeah, we face a lot of wheel-type enemies, and yeah, they are out for blood. They try to run you over. <laughs> you know, speaking of which, I don't see any citizens in this city here. They you know, I assume they ran over everyone at this point already, you know, they they made a cruel fate. They made a cruel fate, the inhabitants of this town. <laughs> and these enemies here, like, they are some kind of anime, anime vehicle. They kind of, like, go back and forth and, you know, <laughs> put people in their mouths. Okay, just shut up now, Nick, you're just making no sense. No sense at all. Ho! Cow. I forgot about him. <laughs> but yeah, still, so far, everything looks the same. Maybe we have a few more enemies here. I'm not sure. Yeah, this guy was definitely there in the short version, too. I remember him. Oh my god. You know what? We're going to need a short sh shot here. Very nice. Wait! I don't have the wheel. It must be hidden somewhere. Oh! Yeah, this guy I just did that with. <laughs> and yeah, here we have this guy. He was here in the short version too. And I believe in the first version we had the boss down here. Maybe this is just the mid boss now in this version, you know. It could very well be. Yeah! I, I assume that. You know what? Let me just take a sip here. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. There is another boss door behind him. Yeah. The first time I played through this, this here was the end. And yeah, he only took one damage. You know, per buster shot. So, yeah. He's been nerfed significantly at the stage. Yeah. This stage does continue here. So, yeah. I'm very happy that I noticed that uh, I played it. <laughs> Short version, you know. Nowadays, I, when I do the intros, you know, I just skip past the whole play or, you know, reading out the card title there, so yeah, I I actually missed the first time that it said short version there, <laughs> but then after I had played the stage, I noticed that in the menu there, so yeah, I'm very happy I noticed it. Whoa, dude, this is actually a very nice use of this weapon. Yeah, I learned from Ace that if you hold the blade out like this, it only deals 0.3 damage or 
three three damage, you know. So basically, a third, a third of a buster shot, <laughs> you know. So it's very weak unless you drop the blade on the floor. Then it deals two damage, I believe it was. But yeah, look at this. You can't even kill a Dockron. Yeah, a Dockron takes three hits. Normally they only, you know, take a uh, single buster shot there. And yeah, he sniped me. <laughs> All right, we're back here again. Let's try and not fail here. Yeah, it's imperative that you don't start backtracking in here because, yeah, you'll spawn enemies behind you. I realized that too late in the first attempt there. Ooh. Very nice. And yeah, this here feels a lot more like a complete stage now. Like, now we have some more gimmick usage. There wasn't all that much gimmick usage in the first version, you know. We only had the conveyor belts. Now we have some weapon usage going on here as well. Yeah, I need to watch that again. Okay, so... Left, right, left. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! This is actually the first time I'm doing something like this with the weapon. Oh my god, we're all the way back here! Oh no! Okay, <laughs> back yet again. Can we do it this time? I sure hope so. You know what? You can actually practice here on this side. It's the exact same pattern. Okay, it's so much easier when it's not spikes for some reason. <laughs> okay, okay. Nice. Okay, finally I got it. Finally. Ooh, and another city section here. Yeah, more more houses with turned on lights inside. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We saw Whoa, we have we saw structure like that a bit earlier on the stage too, but yeah, I never pointed it out. Ugh, I remember pointing it out in my first playthrough of the unfinished stage there. Whoa, holy cow. <laughs> Jesus, that was intense. This is tight here. Oh my god, I spawned it! Oh. Yeah, but once again, this feels much more like a complete stage, and yeah, this room is also, you know, very basic, but it looks nice, and, you know, nice usage of the wheel cutter there, and the docker on the conveyor, like, a very... A basic but creative screen there. Very nice. Yeah, here we're just gonna... Oops. Oh my god, this is going to be <laughs> tricky. Hmm. Oh. No! <laughs> what the heck? Oh! Okay, dude, that was pretty tricky, I gotta admit. <sighs> Imagine if I had fallen down there. I would have to do that again. Who you? I mean, there's no risk of dying, so it's not so bad, but you know. <laughs> I wasn't confident in my abilities to, you know, get it on the first try or anything, so yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You can actually just kill him like that there. Holy cow! Uh... What? I am very perplexed here. Can we make him spawn again? Maybe it's game over if he actually spawns there. Maybe. Or maybe you can... Oh, okay. I see. I see. You know what? I'm going to do this again. <laughs> I want to try it again. It seems like... It seems like the spike extends further out than the regular wall, you know, with the wheel cutter here. Or maybe that's just me, you know, imagining things. Alright. So maybe this here is the stage boss now. 
And it's Skull Man. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of looks like a punk, I guess. You know, a <laughs> roader punk. There we go. Get him down here. Holy cow. I now see how this is going to pan out here. We gotta, yeah, switch sides with him here. Dang it. But yeah, this is pretty interesting. Let's just... Yeah, I want him to stand over as far as possible to the right there. So we have more time to dodge. But yeah, this... As long as you, you know, get the call set, this is actually easier than a regular Skullman fight here. I would say. Well... I, I don't know, like, it depends. Like, in a regular Skullman fight, you have to, you know, actually dodge his bullets. You don't have to do that in this boss room. But, um, if you are not fast enough, you know, with the switching out of the weapon there, you, you know, he, he will really corner you there, or he might run into you. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit scary, actually. But as long as you keep cool, I guess, it's not so bad. And, yeah, I think I'm just going to... Stay down with him here now. I guess you could you also just do this here, you know. Do that and then back off and you can get two cycles in on him there instead of doing like I did and, you know, drag it out. But yeah, I guess my way there was the safer way. I suppose. But yeah, let's upvote that one as well. Very cool stage there, Sir Arthur. Or Sir Arthur. <laughs> I'm happy you said. Whoops! I'm happy you submitted the stage. Um. Yeah, really cool gimmick usage there, especially, like, the, the first version or the short version was fun too, but, like, it felt, I actually, I actually felt like it felt kind of incomplete, you know, while playing it, but, and, you know, in this, in this version of the stage, you know, it, it's drawn out a little bit more, and, you know, we have some harder setups and harder rooms towards the end there. I felt like the original stage lacked a little bit in difficulty and a little bit of a difficulty ramp, but here in this one, you know, it's it's much more spiced up, you know, in the final stage here, so yeah. I'm very happy that I saw it, I'm happy that I came here to play this one. Very cool stage, very nice setups, and yeah, that's really all I had to say, so. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.